I am so excited. I'm so excited today. Today is December 24th. So depending on where you are geographically in the world, today is already Christmas for you. But doesn't matter where we are, what we have, we are in the mood of celebration. We are in the mood of Christmas. And today, I'm so excited because we're going to bring you a quick message about the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. But before we get there, I am so excited today to have with me as my guest, the one and only the president of On Fire Agape Ministries, Dr. Samuel Ndongo. Welcome to the studio, Mr. Ndongo. Thank you, Mr. Dominic, for those, that kind introduction. Yeah. Although it's not about me, it's yes, about sir. the Lord of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you anyway. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, uh, Dr. Dongo, before we go to the Word of God, I want him to tell us about himself, uh, where he comes from, and tell us a little bit uh, briefly about the vision of On Fire Agape Ministries. First of all, I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I was born in Kenya, and it's a real privilege to be bringing you the gospel of Jesus Christ here today. Amen. My full names are Samuel Gatukui Dongo. Yeah, Gatukui. Karibu sana bana Gatukui. Now, this name Gatukui, uh, tell us the originality of this name Gatukui. It's a very unique name. I've not heard that name before. Uh, explain to us a little bit about the name Gatukui. How did you get up to be called Gatukui? I know Kenya doesn't have a lot of names that. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit unique. Yes, Gatukui is actually a nickname of my grandfather. Oh. So I was named after my grandfather, who was very hardworking. He used to till the soil, and he was a small, stout man. And people named him Gatukui because they saw him the whole day. He was working in the farm. The following day, oh, he was working now the I farm. get it. So yeah. the name Gatukui came up from the act of tilling the land and working all the time like a worker, hard worker, Gatukui. In Kikuyu, in my mother tongue, is the Gatukui. Yes. Eh? Gatukui, somebody who works hard. Well, that's, a, that's beautiful. So how did that nickname end up being a full, full name for you? The moment my grandfather realized that he was identified with a good thing, tilling the soil, whenever yes. he, is somewhere, he goes somewhere, he was respected because of what he did. He actually forgot and gave up his real name and adopted the name Gatukui. So when we were born and named after the grandfather, we actually adopted the nickname and we did not want to dig into his real name, so we became Gatukui. So the name Gatukui was adopted in the family? Yes. And now let me ask you a trick question. Yes. Now because you took after your grandfather who was tilling the land, yes. do you till the land? Yes, I, and I do, because I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm totally committed to it. So I do it, that is like tilling the, the soil in a different way, because I became educated, and I didn't take over uh, the working of the farm to make a living. Now I'm committed to working for the Lord, and I do it. Praise the Lord. And that reminds me, Dr. Ndongo, Dr. Samuel Ndongo, that reminds me of Jesus Christ when he was looking for the disciples. I remember him going down by the river and finding the servant of God who became a disciple, Peter. And he said, Peter, you shall follow me, and from today you shall become fishers of men. So he was a fisher of fish. He became fisher of men. Gatukui was a tiller of the land. Dr. Gatukui here tills the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, precisely. Glory you, to God. You Glory got it, to you God. Got it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, before we go to the word of God, tell us a little bit about On Fire Agape Ministries. On Fire Agape Ministries. On Fire means with the fire of yes. our Lord Jesus Christ. And we want to continue being on fire because that's what it deserved. If you understand what Jesus did for us, you have to be on fire. You have to be hot and ready to move forward. Praise you cannot be cold. That's on fire. Then agape. Agape means unconditional love. Praise the Lord. You don't have to. Uh, that he came to his own, and his own did not understand him. There you go. That means there's nothing we did. His love is unconditional. They, Praise the Lord. You can't earn the love of Jesus Christ by doing good works. 
His need, His love is unconditional. And we want, although we cannot be able to do it, to try to imitate the love of Jesus Christ. That's where agape comes from. Hopefully, with the help of the Holy Spirit, we will we'll be able to give that love. So we're talking about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. That love, that agape love that you have received, that agape love, now you have turned it into the ministry. You have now started to uh, preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ with, with fire now. Yeah, with fire and with agape love. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, um, as we continue to go on, we want to talk about On Fire Agape Ministry. We did um, an event on uh, Saturday, December 22nd at G-Van-G Gardens in Nairobi. And I really want to thank God for making that event uh, a success where we were able to be part of a team that uh, celebrated Christmas with the street children in Nairobi. So I want to thank everybody that was part of that team and that part of that organization, and we are so grateful for that. Uh, what would you say about that? Well, it was appropriate. It was appropriate for the street children, who are many in Kenya, to feel the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ comes through people. And when uh, they see that, even during this time, there are people who are remembering them and giving the word of the, the Lord, they are going to remember, wow, wow, then we are not forgotten. There you go. And it is appropriate yes. to remember the hungry, the, the destitute, the broken hearted, yes. because that's what Jesus came for. Actually, the Bible says that I was in jail, you never came to see me, and I was hungry, you never fed me, and I was without clothes, and you never, you never clothed me. So if you do a little bit to the one that is destitute, you become a good Samaritan. And on that note, I want to actually take a moment to say thank you to one lady that committed herself so much into that event. She leads an organization called Hack. Jane Morioki, shout out to you. You did good and may the Lord bless you. As we continue with the word of God, I want us to dig into the word of God and Dr. Samuel here will lead us into the message of today, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, Walk with us. Well, we are going to lead uh, the gospel of John in the beginning of chapter and we are going to examine a little bit because we don't give uh, the, the credit this Christmas Day deserved if we know the full meaning of it. It's just so important yes. and so incredible that unless we understand what it's all about, we are going to take it for granted and our children will never know the meaning of it. So let's read the Gospel sure. of Jesus Christ of St. John's, chapter Praise 1. Praise the Lord. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was nothing that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. Now, we go to verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So we know, we see, that Jesus himself was with God in the beginning. Absolutely. Before he came into this world. Yes, sir. So that means he did not, he did not begin to exist when at he, birth. He, at birth. He at, was at, 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 at Nazareth. No. He existed before then. Yes. And there was a discussion between him and God. Yes, sir. And they looked at humanity after sinning, after the first man sinned, and then his descendants, which multiplied and became all of us, were all lost. They were disdained for destruction and yet God had created them in his image and that was not the purpose of them to be destroyed yes his purpose was to live with them forever as his friends 
but they were tricked by the devil whose main aim was to accompany him to his ultimate destruction because that was what the devil was meant to, to be done after fighting against God, after disobeying God, after being evil. So he wanted the creation of God that God had said it was very good to accompany him to hell. So he tricked men in the beginning into disobeying and sinning against God. And the devil knew that according to God, the punishment of any sin, disobedient being one, and men had disobeyed God after being tricked by the devil. And now he had joined the devil to the destruction and the devil was so happy. So God had a discussion with Jesus Christ in that moment, in that moment of the human race sinning and going against the will of God, that he will go and save the world. Well, God and Jesus looked at humanity and he was merciful. He looked at them and said, yeah, this is what was my own creation. My desire was to live with me forever. I loved him very much and now his descendants but now he has been deceived by my enemy and now my creation is headed for destruction there's no hope at all man cannot save himself his descendant cannot save themselves and yet we don't want so manifestation of uh, through the birth of Jesus Christ came to bring hope to humanity well they designed a plan they said there was a punishment that was that was was meant for them in order to fulfill God's God's law that whenever you sin you die but if one man sinned and all became sinners then one man if he could take the place of that first man who sinned then and he agreed to die for them then the humanity was going to be saved and those who accepted that Jesus had taken the, the place of men, and uh, ultimately all men were going to be saved. Praise and the Lord. they'll come back and live with, Je with Jesus and God forever. So God asked Jesus, are you going to take the place of humanity? Are you going to die for them? If you do that, if you obey, then humanity will be saved. Are you going to do it? And he said, I will go. Praise and the he Lord. came, and that's why wonderful of this Christmas day. Amen. 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 So the reason for the season is the coming of our Savior. Yes. That we were doomed. We were uh, to be led to destruction. Yes. But the love of God. That's why he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his son that whosoever. So today's reason is to believe so whosoever believes in him yes. will never perish yes. but will have everlasting life yes. what a wonderful message today Amen. to know the reason why we are celebrating christmas Amen. it is because we were led to destruction Amen. but christ came to redeem us yes. for himself Amen. and if you believe him today yes if you turn your Amen. life to christ today Amen. there is hope for eternity Amen. there is hope for life Amen. there is hope in the Lord. Amen. Not only are you going to be blessed here, yes. not only are you going to dwell with Christ here, yes. but there is a promise of eternity. Yes. Because where he is, there shall you be. So today, as you gather around with your family, as you gather around with friends, as you eat nyamachoma, as you have all those merrymaking, remember the reason for the season is the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to save us from destruction and to give us a promise of hope, eternity. Amen and amen. Give us some last closing words. Well, it says salvation is in your mouth. Salvation is near you. If you believe in your heart that Jesus is Lord, yes, and you confess with your mouth today that Jesus died and lost again and is with God you will be saved and it says that the gospel says that the Word of God is not void it doesn't go forth 
void. It comes back and it accomplishes all it's meant to be. Maybe sisters and brothers, you may be listening to us today. And if you listen and meditate on what we are saying, you can be saved and you can join us to live with the Lord as he intended for us forever and ever with him. Amen. 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 Not only are we going to talk about salvation, we will talk about something else. That if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter what you have gone through this year. It doesn't matter what frustration has gotten in your life. It doesn't matter what failures have come through your life. It doesn't matter how many doors you have tried to open and they have been closed. It doesn't matter what has happened to your family, to your relationships, to your financial status. The Bible says that God can turn that around. If he turned the de destiny of human being to eternal life, he can turn your life today mm -hmm. to eternal blessing. As we enter 2019, we want to speak a word of blessings to you and to ourselves that will be a year of prosperity. That The Bible says in the book of Revelation that the doors that God shall open shall never be shut and we are opening doors for you and god is opening doors for you and jesus christ is sealing them with the blood that the angel of destruction will not touch you in the year 2019 god bless you so much and we're gonna say a prayer quickly and we're gonna say god bless you merry christmas and happy new year brother james hold my hand as you say a quick prayer for our viewers thank you heavenly father thank you holy spirit Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the viewers. We know, Father, somebody out there has heard the word and understood the Merry Christmas is not about gift, but it's a gift of you, a son, who obeyed you and uh, came into this world so that the destruction that Satan was enjoying, that his, your creation was going to endure, he is no longer enjoying it because some people who have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ are saved and they are your disciples and we will partner together to bring even more people to you as you intended. We believe this in our heart through Jesus Christ, your son who came and who is the reason for the season. Amen, 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 amen. Until next time, God bless you, enjoy, and be safe on the roads. Kwaheri ya kuonana. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.